Okay, uh, hello guys. I wanted to show you a solution to the stuttering issue on the Bose 700. So um, it is a well-known problem, and if you're here, you're, you probably have the issue as well. So a lot of people experience this stutter issue, especially when they're connected with multiple devices, but I even had it when it was just connected to my MacBook, for example. Um, and yeah, just very, very annoying. So I read through all the comments, and by the way, all these solutions here, they don't do anything. Like what, what the Bose community, like the Bose people suggested, it just doesn't work. So I read through the comments, and it just became clear to me that the issue really is a firmware issue. The problem, though, is that Bose doesn't allow you to downgrade your firmware. Um, they don't officially allow it. So I found this post on Reddit, and I tried it actually on my MacBook. I tried these steps on my MacBook, um, and I just tried it on Windows as well, and it works perfectly here as well. So, you know, if you have never, if you have the Bose update already on your PC, make sure that it is uh, off here in the bottom right. Make sure it's turned off, like I have it on here, so I'm going to exit it here. Then, um, like if, if you didn't install it yet before, you can you should install it here, the official version from Bose. Uh, so you install it. Then what happens after you install it? You when you go to the PC, to the C drive, to the program files x86. Here's the Bose updater, and and this program is installed. What that basically does it, is it can connect your uh, through a USB C cable, a USB cable. It can update your your firmware of, of any Bose device you have basically so also of the Bose 700 uh, however they don't support any downgrading so this guy made made it possible to downgrade so what you got to do is you got to download this file so just click on clone it click on it and then it should appear in your download folder or wherever else it normally downloads to you want to uh, copy Control C or on Mac Command C I uh, know on Mac you don't need to do these steps anyways. Uh, there's different steps. I'm not going to go over them, but just do these steps on Mac. Um, so you're going to, on Windows, you're going to copy this. Then you're going to go to this PC, to the C uh, thing again, Program Files x86, and then to the Bose Updater. And then in here, you're going to paste it, Control v And you can only paste this and replace it again when the Bose app is, is turned off. So make sure it's turned off. Then you replace it, and it should it should, uh, and you just continue with your admin rights. Uh, boom, it's in on here. It's it's the edited version that uh, you can use to downgrade. So now we've done these steps. So what now what you need to do is you, and I actually <laughs> cannot do this now because I am uh, actually recording this video through my Bose 700. So I cannot actually show you doing it myself, but I'll just quickly go over it. So you plug it in using the USB-C to USB cable. Uh, you put the USB-C part in your headset and the USB uh, in your laptop, computer, whatever. And then you go to btu.bose.com. All right, then what should happen in a little bit is it's gonna start it. It's gonna start the Bose update that we've already installed. I think if I go here in a little bit, it should open it up. Yeah, okay. So actually I already have it. So I, what you need to do previously is just go here, and just start start up the file. It, it, it tells you, uh, this is in Dutch, but in English or whatever, it will tell you, uh, please don't do this, but you can just go to more information and run the file anyways. So now it should run, then in the bottom right, we here we can see that it's running, the Bose update is running. Then this screen also updates and it tells you to plug in your um, your device, so your Bose 700s, through the USB cable, USB-C cable to the MacBook, laptop, whatever. So I cannot show it that now because I'm recording using the headsets again. So, but luckily this guy also provides screenshots so I can just go over them. So what will happen is you'll see, you go to this screen uh, like after this, when you plug them in, you go here and it will show the Bose 700s, of course. And uh, it will show your version. It's probably the latest version. 
So then what you want to do is you want to go in that, be in this window on your, uh, on your browser, and you want to type A, D, V, arrow up, arrow down. So in here, you just press on the keyboard A, D, V, arrow up, arrow down. Then what happens is it will take you to this window, like it's their shortcut to take you to the advanced mode, and this is what he programmed. Then on here, you want to um, downgrade it to version 1.2 point something. After, like I, I tried all of them, and for me, it just stopped stuttering, stopped having any stutter when I downgraded it to 1.2 point something. I don't remember exactly what it is. I can put it in the comments below or in the, the, in the description. So you want to click that, and then you want to press Update Now, and then please wait till it's completely done till you unplug your device otherwise it can mess up your device so just keep it updating or downgrading really uh, to to that 1.2 version and after that you're all set and you shouldn't experience any stuttering issues anymore I, I also i don't have any idea why they did the updates in the first place it was working perfectly for me and after that it started being really bad so yeah, that should do it. Uh, one other thing is that when you have the Bose app on your phone, when you open it, when you have it open, it will actually automatically, through Bluetooth, try to install the newest version. So what I suggest, the, the Bose app is really bad anyways. Just deinstall it from your phone. You don't need it. Um, just deinstall it from your phone, and that basically stops you from automatically updating it. I also looked into that. There's no way to stop the automatic updating in the app either. So, you know, it will just uh, keep updating when you when you have that app open. So just in, uh, deinstall it and just keep your firmware at 1.2 point something. Um, so yeah, that's basically it.